Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam. What's up in the comments down below? Feel free to join VIP. to be alert. Never get in and out of plays. Also, get your free stock from down below. Hit me up for a 15 minute, 30 minute phone call. Full of value, full of gems. Change your whole perspective on the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what's going on. As we know, uh, FRC, First Republic Bank, that was definitely a bad call. We know we got to shot these bad calls that, uh, from the rooftop, just as we do with the with the great calls. We've been on a crazy uh, win streak, so it's just a drop in the bucket. If you guys stick into the principle, aiming small, miss small, know to stay on your level until it's time to level up. So anyways, go ahead and take a look at it. I did go overboard. We all make mistakes. I went overboard a bit with First Republic Bank. Definitely, you know, being for the fact that I thought it would definitely go on my way, try to make one of those $10,000 hits like I did on uh, AMC and Carvana. And, you know, those come every once in a blue moon for me. Uh, when you make five figures in the trade, usually it's just a couple racks, a band, or, you know, the high hundreds. And that's the level that I'm on. Some people way above it, some way below it, but stay on your level. And by me, you know, that ain't my level yet, making 10000 in the trade, but I do I do it. So by me trying to do that and break the rules, what I tell you guys not to do, I'm human, I still make mistakes too. But, you know, I got to be transparent and let you guys know when I make those mistakes, that's going to help somebody out there. And you already know, but anyway, it's going to get into it, Could get this video in and out. With Bed Bath & Beyond, you guys see exactly what's going on. My boy just alerted me. He was like, dang, hey, you see what's going on? Like, nah, cuz I don't even know what. He like, bro, look. I said, dang, I looked. I'm like, good God, that mother done dropped the 13 cents. But anyways, we already know this was a high possibility, but due to me, being a psychological trader, I knew without a doubt, Bed and Beyond should be crashing. We already knew this ahead of time, guys. They shutting down stores. They running out of business. People is ordering online. There's no need for them anymore. But due to so many people knowing this information, it was only right that the shorts was going to pile in and short it down to zero. That was too easy. It would have been too easy to call that out. So I did believe the opposite would happen. And you know, sometimes you got to go with the flow. Sometimes you got to go with the opposite. And sometimes you're going to get hit in the face whenever things don't go your way. But anyways, you guys see, get the memo. It ain't, you know, too shabby. Anybody could have seen with a naked eye. And just a few moments ago, they got hit with the SEC. They got hit with a filing that they need to, they going to have their stock delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. So that's definitely going to, you know, make their stock collapse. And they got a, the notice that their stock will be off the exchange on May 3rd by the opening bell. So you already know, guys, that's definitely, you know, going to take a hit on the overall stock. You still could see a pop before then or whatnot, but it's very dangerous. It's best to stay away unless you actually and really and truly know what you're doing when you're, uh, you know, trying to milk uh, Bed Bath & Beyond before that date of May the 3rd. So anyways, you guys already know, like I say, ain't small, miss small. Stocks that's traded under a dollar, you definitely want to be skeptical on because due to the Greeks and it only take for Bed Bath & Beyond to move up three cents for two cents for it to be up 20, 10% on today or four cents to be up 20% and options, it ain't going to sort of reflection of that. So that's why you want to be, you know, careful and be aiming small whenever you trying to buy options on stocks that's in the penny stock territory that's a penny stock so anyways also we called out riot riot is doing good that's going to make up that's going to make up it should uh it's ran up bust through 1107 what i was talking about I told you guys we should see a nice little run uh up and at the hours up over five percent the day is up over like ten percent great great pick for today guys we're getting back into our element with that it's going to be a smooth sale on out guys of course you may have another loss that pop up once the you know the once the losers in the air you have a couple you be having a couple in the in the in the mix so you know but as long as you know how to maneuver your way through it know that losses is now it's time to lose a little bit it's time to pay market tuition as long as you're aware of that you know how to prepare for that and know how to not put much so you won't lose much as you continue to you know, build up your account or lose a small amount to stay in the game so those wins could come back around. So, excuse me, you guys know what to do. Hedge above on Instagram at the BH Show. I love y'all. We out and God bless y'all.